That's lovely, honey. I. What, what about your 10 million? Huh? Oh, 10 million bucks. Well, it's just money, man. I don't know. Um, I guess I'd buy my own Harley and uh, head west, build an old house on a cliff by the ocean where no one could bug me. And of course, I'd have to have enough room for my own arcade and a swimming pool and a bowling alley, movie theater. But once I had all that, I guess i give the rest away to poor people. Poor people. That's nice. Yeah. We got a regular father at the over here. Oh, and I suppose buying a racehorse is being a humanitarian. Oh, and all of a sudden, you don't like the ponies. Silly game, anyway. Fantasizing about things that'll never be. You want my beats? Forget it. Oh, we're just having fun. Besides, it's Fred's turn. Fred? I told you I was fine. And I am. I've never felt better. <laughs> I feel fine. Really? <laughs> what? This afternoon? It was my stomach. <laughs> my... See, I, I gotta lay off those hot peppers. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> fine. I'm fine. I'm just great. I'm... I'm... <laughs> Hot peppers. <laughs> what? Oh, this is the kid I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. Dad. Mm -hmm. Dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's for you. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. Miles. Low ball first. He's just goofy enough to go for it. Fred, this is your lucky day. This is Miles Fernquist. He's from Happiness Real Estate, and he thinks he's got a buyer for your house. House? House? What's the matter, buddy? Don't you remember? New beginning, fresh start. And our company can help you to relocate. Well, I... I, I now, I, it's a little rundown, but I think I can get, uh... Oh, 400000 for that? Fred, what's this about? I don't know. I don't know. You folks are gonna love Tacoma. I got a brother lives out there. Of course, I take an umbrella. <laughs> Fred, you want to sell this house and move to Tacoma? No. What? You... Well, well, yes, 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 but no, I don't. Four fifty. Uh, that's about as far as I can go. I mean, the place needs a lot of work. Fred, what is he talking about? Look. I, I can't stay here anymore. That, that's all. I just, I can't. This place is bumming me out. I, I, I gotta go someplace new. I gotta go to Tacoma. Tacoma. <laughs> you too. Tacoma. Mountains, the sea. It's, it's crawling with scientists, just like Fred. Yes. See, I, I can't stay here anymore because everything is closing in on me. I, I, I need new beginnings. We're gonna move? Mom, this can't be happening. But it is, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tina, but we've got to get out of here. This place is driving me nuts. It's, it's driving me over the top. I don't want this. I'll be a failure if I stay here. That's why I need new beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. That's what I need. I can't. I'm a red light. OK. Fred! What's wrong with Fred? He's under duress. Maybe we should come back later. Yeah, we'll come back later. No. Kids, go finish dinner. Tina? Come on, you guys. But I don't want to move. My life is over. Could have been those beats. Is there a problem? Don't you see how sick this man is? Hey, I haven't seen that for years. How can you come here pressuring him like this? He's obviously upset. He doesn't know what he's doing. He seemed fine. Look, are they selling or what? No, we'll never sell this house. Do you see this? This is the Edison family. Excuse me. And this is our home, the Edison family home. And we will never, ever leave here, ever. 
No matter what, do I make myself perfectly clear? We will never leave here. Let's go. Go. We haven't cut a deal yet. Give our regards to Fred. 475. You leave the washer. Get out! I'm telling you, I've seen this a million times. It's what they call midlife crises. A man starts feeling sorry for himself, so they give it a big name. Harry went through it, thinking his life was worthless. Of course, in his case, it was true. I just wish there was some way we could make him feel better. You should have heard him last night. He's so down on himself. The whole thing is this. You... You can't coddle them when they're like this. Carl Jung, confrontational therapy. You've just got to go right up to him. You say, Fred, this whole bummed out scenario is wearing thin. Snap out of it. Wait a second. I just thought of something. What? If I can only remember where I put it. What? It might have been upstairs, but I'm not, I don't well, know. What are you looking for, though, Casey? Fred? Uh -huh. Do you want some company? You'll never believe what I found when I was looking through one of the old trunks. Well, it's a letter, Fred. A letter you wrote me 16 years ago. It was when I lost that piano competition and you were trying to cheer me up. And it's funny, but well, it's not funny, but it's interesting that I should happen to find this letter at this particular time, you know? Should I read it? Okay. <clears throat> Dearest Casey, I'm just writing to tell you how much you mean to me. Ever since you accepted my proposal of marriage, my life has taken on new meaning. I know that you and I We'll always be happy together because we were meant to be. It's destiny. I have always felt that two people who... Oh. Can't make out your writing here. Um, something, something. Um, it doesn't matter. Here's the part that's important. Life isn't always easy, but you can never give up. Someone once said, it's 99% perspiration and the other half is mental. I couldn't agree more. I know you had your heart set on winning that competition. I guess coming in 14th out of 15 is a tough nut to swallow. But there's something I want you always to remember, no matter what, and for the rest of our natural lives together. You'll be the number one winner in my heart. Love your little cougar. Remember that, Fred? That was your advice to me. Well, guess what? I still feel the same way. singing the song. All right, one time. Count it in, Harry, and... I know. Not too slow. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. We're the Edison family. We're having fun continually. Cause that's the only way to be. La, 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 la. Who cares what the people say? We do things that are very 